Hello, welcome to today's tutorial. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to click on the subscribe button because I will be uploading more teacher tutorials and many of them will include free resources. Today I will be showing you how to send a parent survey digitally in a super easy way. I have sent home parent surveys every year in order to get to know my kids and maybe find out more information about them coming directly from their parent. Usually I send a paper version home, but this year I prepared a digital version so parents can receive it on their phone. I will show you two options that I will give to you. You can either use a Google Forms or Microsoft Forms. If you're using Schoology for your class, I recommend the Microsoft Forms, but either way you will get both of these and they're both included in Spanish as well. First, I'm gonna show you the parent survey in Microsoft. Here you can see I added about 10 questions and I included questions about basic information about the child, about their personality, any health concerns, um, things, holidays that they celebrate. And I always leave a space for parents to let me know any information that they think is important for me to know. You can see this is the computer version of how it's going to look for the parent when they open it or the cell phone version and most of my parents last year relied on their cell phone to do anything um, having to do with schoolwork so it's nice to know that even though it's smaller it still looks very nice now if you're wondering how did i get to microsoft forms i'm going to show you you're going to go to microsoft your office 365 if you have it as part of your school email, you will find the app icon also here on the left, whether you're on your email or any Microsoft um, site, it'll be right here and all the apps are included here too. But if you go to your Office 365, it's this one, it's turquoise, it's called Forms. When you click on it, you will already have the parent survey that I'm gonna send you, but you'll also have here um, any other forms or quizzes that you have for your class. So I'm gonna click on the parent survey. And before you share it with your parents, you can actually go down and edit any of the questions. If there's a question that you don't like that I included, you can delete it, or you can um, you press on the garbage right here, or you can add another one if you'd like. Um, if there's something that you would like to ask that I didn't include, just simply click on add new. You can also change the theme of your survey by clicking right here at the top right corner on theme and there's other themes you can choose from. I uploaded these um, from my own backgrounds and I created this header. Um, so you won't find that there, but you can also create your own and upload it as well. And finally, when you're ready to share it with your parents, you're gonna go to share and copy this link and then you can send that link through Blooms, Class Dojo, Reminder, um, whatever method you use. And here, this link would be to, this icon would be to send it to them through email or if you wanna print out the QR code. And if you wanna share it with another teacher, you can go ahead, um, this is a free resource, so you can go ahead and share it with um, your, your friends by clicking on this bottom one. If you share the top one, that's to answer the survey, and this one is to share the template. So after you have sent it to your parents and families, you're going to you're going to go on to go back and see the responses. So if you're not in this page, you're going to go back to your Microsoft and open your forms. You're going to pick the survey that you sent to them. And then on the right, you're gonna see responses. Obviously I haven't sent it to anyone yet, but here you're gonna see their responses and they show it to you in a variety of ways, whether it's individual or as a group. And that's why it's very important that one of the first questions that I ask is what is your child's name? So that I know who answered that survey. Really quick, if you wanna create your own form like the one I just showed you for maybe something else you have in mind or something you're planning to do with your students, you would go here to new form. New quiz is for something else, like if you're trying to give an assessment and there would be an answer key to it. So you go to the new form, you click the title, you can add an image here or a banner, 
and a description, and then click add new for each question that you want to add, whether it's a multiple choice or a text. And then you go to theme and you can create your own theme and that's it. And it's a very simple process to do it's in order for you um, to create your own forms. Now, this parent survey is in Google. It's in the Google Forms and it looks very similar. There's just minor differences. As you see, the banner is bigger, but it's pretty much the same thing. If you're on the teacher version here, you can also go back and edit and eliminate questions or add questions by clicking a plus sign here to add a question or add a title or add an image, whatever you wanna do. Once you're ready to save and send, you just click on send and it'll give you a choice for you to type out an email or also copy the link and share it with your parents. If you wanna create a Google Form from scratch, go to Google Forms by either clicking on the Google Apps Waffle or typing in Google Forms and it'll take you here. Click on the blank one. You'll see the other ones in the background and you follow the same steps. It's very similar to the Microsoft Forms. Um, similar process, a little bit of difference as far as um, here you can add images to each answer choice if you'd like. You also see the responses right here on the right. And to pick the kind of question that you want to ask, it can either be in short answer or multiple choice. To add more questions, you click on the plus sign, but you can also add images or titles or videos to your Google Forms. And to share, you click on send and copy the link like I showed you, but they're very similar. So it's just about preference or maybe whichever one is more um, easier for you to use. I hope this tutorial was helpful. You will see both of these surveys linked in the bottom and they do come in Spanish as well. If there's anything you would like for me to show you, leave me a comment. Most of my tutorials will include a free resource. I really enjoy creating and my goal is to help you as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for some more amazing tech tutorials.